You're listening to The Money Hour with your host, Tina Mitchell, and co-host, Keelan Harvey, on Alternative Talk AM 1150. Now, back to the show with local mortgage experts, Tina Mitchell and Keelan Harvey. And you're listening to The Money Hour on 1150 AM KKNW, the Friday, May 1st virtual show because of the COVID-19. Our show is temporarily moved virtually. And you can also listen to us on podcast or catch us on air on Saturday at 3 p.m. and a rebroadcast on Sunday at 8 a.m. I am your host, Tina Mitchell. And I'm your co-host, Keelan Harvey. We are a local mortgage expert. We are here to help you build a strong financial blueprint one week and one show at a time. If you're listening to our show at a different time or day, you are listening to a rebroadcast. So we're here to answer any questions or connect you with the guests that we have on the show. You can call the show at one 855 411 or go online at themoneyhour.com. And right now we have Sam Turkle of Merchants Real Estate Photography, photography powered by science. So welcome back, Sam. Thanks again for uh, joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me. It's good to be back. All of you virtually. <laughs> Or all be virtually. A little bit about Sam. Uh, Sam is a sales and marketing consultant with Virgins in Greater Seattle area. He recently started working there. Is excited to start his career in sales for such a great uh, company that has great service. Graduating in 2017, you are so young, Sam. <laughs> From Kennedy College with a degree in philosophy, he is continuing to learn, grow, and teach. Recently, his commitment to learning about all aspects of real estate has brought him here to talk more about merchants and the value they can bring their real estate brokers. Sam, so you uh, you touched on it a little bit, but we'd love to uh, hear you elaborate on how are you dealing with this new normal with your business? You mentioned that you can't go into offices and do the normal face-to-face. So how are how is how are you dealing with this new normal? Yeah, good. Uh, thanks for bringing that up. I know big thing for me, uh, at least it used to be big, was doing like a bunch of office meetings, like going in, talking to at, at those office meetings to brokers and um, letting them know the value of virtuance and using professional photography in general, but what we do differently and that kind of thing. Um, so now it's moving over a lot more to virtual presentations. I know a lot of offices have started incorporating that into their schedules and um, it's almost easier to facilitate, you know, joining in on those or at least adding, um, you know, a video that I can provide value with, whether that's talking about um, like 3D tours or um, things changing in the market that way, um, photography wise. Um, But yeah, a lot more virtual presentations. And I think that's the, that's the big thing that's, that's changing um, right now for me. You know, the, uh, I know when you said it, Oh, go ahead, Keelan. Oh, sorry, I was just going to say, it's, you know, it's a scale issue, right? Um, because once you put the virtual aspect in there, ev- everybody's going to have a scale issue, which could be a fantastic problem to have, but a problem in itself. So uh, it could be a blessing. I know it's going to be interesting just to see how many platforms change to virtual, how many people are going to start working virtual, networking organizations that are going to do things differently through virtual. Uh, it's just going to be an interesting dynamic to watch how this all unfolds. So, Sam, what does Virtuance do differently as a real estate photography company than what maybe some of your competitors uh, do? Yeah. So, big differentiator for Virtuance is we did two years of buyer psychology research and online marketing. So when people are looking through like 10, 20, 100 listings, looking for a dream home, why are certain images catching their eye and then others not? And then we developed technology that we call HD Real, which our images are processed through, um, uses like 25 different machine learning algorithms that incorporate the studies we did to help create images more likely for people to look at the pictures, hold that attention longer, Uh, normally, you know, have them show up to the listing, maybe not showing up uh, nowadays as much, but helping with that online marketing portion uh, of your photography is is what we do differently and what we're trying to help out with. Yeah, that's got to be huge as far as, I mean, you have an online curb appeal. People just rapidly fire with our short attention spans. I can't believe some of the pictures that I've seen online. Uh, I've been curious looking at homes myself lately, and I've seen a lot of them. And some of them are shocking. Some of them are fantastic, but you can definitely see the difference. And it almost presents itself a feeling, I think, with it, you know, and when you see the good ones, you're like, ooh, I want to go check that out. Yeah. So that's a, that's a good thing. 
So it sounds like this technology you got is really just enhances all of that. How is that helping uh, enhance it in general and then also with the photographers themselves? Yeah. So, I mean, we have a, a bunch of statistics on, you know, helping improve listing appointment close rates and stuff like that and selling homes um, up to 45% faster uh, and things along those lines um, as far as the technology is concerned and the end product. But our photographers, you know, it's not just the technology, right? Like the technology and the algorithms can only do so much, but our photographers, um, you know, we train them and we call it mastering the art of composition, but it's just a fancy way for saying we teach them to market real estate and use this data from the research that we, we did to figure out what types of images that they can take are more effective, whether that's like making sure the room opens up more, making sure the camera goes up and out as opposed to down and in, turning the light on the next room, turning lights on in the room in general, um, things like that that are more effective marketing real estate wise uh, that we make sure that we're all on the same page with and that the photographers are taking pictures that work well and incorporate well with this technology that we developed. Yeah, that's awesome. And now we're talking here with you. Uh, one of the other events I created was my uh, virtual agent talk, which is a, a space for agents to come together on a monthly basis. Again, it'll be continued after we get out and get back to uh, normal, but it'll be a new norm for my uh, platform. And I need to have you come in and talk about because I have photography and and how to really navigate through that and get the best pictures is, is so critically important. So Sam, uh, with the bias being present, what measures are your photographers and your company taking towards making sure that everybody uh, stays healthy and is safe around others that they might come in contact with? Yeah, good question. Um, you know, safety is definitely really important right now. I know there was a, a week or two where photography was deemed uh, not essential and um, you know, you weren't allowed to have professional photographers go out and take pictures for you for this week or two. Um, but obviously that was uh, changed with uh, the updated order. NAR for, got in. That, yeah. NAR got into that. That changed very quickly with uh, the yeah, changed home. very quickly. <laughs> and so obviously we're allowed to be doing professional photos again. Um, and we have a have a, had a, them before, you know, this ordeal happened as well, but um, have a bunch of protocols and things we're doing a little different with our photographers like making sure they have gloves and they're wearing face masks, you know, obvious things like that when they're going and doing photo shoots, but making sure we're providing them with uh, hand sanitizer necessary for all our photographers. Um, generally, you know, it's, uh, I know real estate agents like to be at the home when photos are being taken, but we're recommending they stay home, let our photographers do their thing, just give us a lockbox code so they can go take pictures of the home, send and then we'll get them over to you. You know, you don't need to be there at the photo shoot. Um, while it's happening and you can always give us notes on the different ways that you want us to market the property. Um, but you know, there's a whole list of things that you can see on our website too. Uh, big orange bar pops up in the top of our screen when you go to our website, um, telling you or making sure that you see what we're doing differently, you know, with, uh, especially making sure people are staying safe and healthy during this time. So i um, definitely check out there if you want to learn a little bit more about that. Wonderful. And we'll make sure on the post that we have our, our guest website and contact information uh, there for you as well. I think that must have been scary for all how important photography is. I mean, that's so important with your listing. And uh, I know some of my agents and I work with a lot of great ones and a lot of the other top agents are probably freaking out because you can't pre uh, present the property the best ability. So I'm glad that they figured that part out of it. Um, what other things have changed, Sam, as far as technology and marketing online um, since this whole thing went down? Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, so I think one of the big changes that we had almost immediately once coronavirus hit was uh, Matterport 3D tours, which we're now providing at Virtuance. And those are, again, like 3D tours of a home um, is, a, is a big thing that we made sure to facilitate in all of the markets that were open in, in the United States. Um, Seattle in particular, I think is a more tech savvy place and, uh, you know, Washington, we want to make sure that we're facilitating those 3d tours of homes with the fact that no one's really showing up, uh, you know, as much at the moment. So being able to facilitate that has been really important. Um, another thing is we now offer a listing website with every order through us, um, which, you know, holds in perpetuity, all the listings you might have through us, but also shows like built in stats reports, uh, on all the pictures that are most popular and. Uh, where the traffic you're getting from most websites and stuff like that. So that's definitely been helpful and, uh, and important with the, with the changes. Yeah, Sam, we've got uh, just a couple minutes left here. Uh, since the last time that we had you actually in studio, not 
on Facebook virtual. Uh, what are some new uh, services and things that have happened since the last time we've chatted? I know you just talked about the website. Anything else going on exciting? Yeah. So uh, again, I think the big thing is these 3D Matterport tours, which, um, you know, from a marketing standpoint, obviously the number of listings in the market is down as compared to last year. But the number of orders that we've had through Matterport 3D tours has skyrocketed. Um, a lot of people are taking advantage of this because providing this virtual tour of a home, a way to walk through, have a 3D uh, effect of a home is really important in marketing right now. And uh, we've definitely seen that reflected in you know, our orders. And it's important for people to recognize that and learn a little bit more about that. Yeah. Well, um, just a shout out and a call to action, uh, Sam, to our audience is listening as we're wrapping up our segment here with you. What should our real estate agents that are listening now or call to action you have for them next step to uh, get in contact with you or what they need to be doing in this market? Yeah. Um, if you want to reach out to me, my uh, phone number is 425-243-4474. You can always shoot me an email to at sam.turco at virtuance.com. Um, our website is also a great way to learn more about um, real estate in general. We have so much free resources, blog posts, um, ways that we can help your business, especially at a time like this and things like that that you should look into. Um, my primary audience is definitely real estate agents, brokers, um, people who are trying to uh, buy and sell homes. And uh, I want to help out in any way that I can, especially at a time like this. Yeah, wonderful, Sam. Thank you so much uh, for coming in and uh, and for hanging out here with us as the whole show as we uh, go ahead and transition uh, here. Coming up next on The Money Hour, finding back the joy in podcasting. Richard Matthew of Matthew Enterprises right here in 1150 AM, KKNW.